Okay, now we'll just talk about some of the soil amendments that you can use on your infield to help with water management and, and moisture retention even. Um, here on the table we have a rapid dry, which is basically, you can see, just a, just a fine powder. And then we have a calcined clay here next to it. Um, the rapid dry, the, I try to discourage a lot of use of the rapid dry and encourage more use of the calcined clay. Just everyday use, rapid dry has basically one function, and that is after a hard rain, you can throw it out there, it'll remove a puddle almost immediately, and it'll firm up the area a little bit right then. The problem with it is, once the puddle's gone and it's dry the next day, the rapid dry just turns, turns that area very hard, it's, it's very dusty, it, it tends to blow into your lips, and obviously that's a big issue we have on all fields is lip maintenance. So if you can, if you can avoid using a lot of rapid dry on your field, you could basically try to help alleviate some of your lip maintenance time as well as some of the dust issues that you're going to have if you don't have the ability to throw a lot of water out there. Now the calcine clays, these will, these will absorb basically the same amount of water. If you given a little bit of time and a little bit of sun or some wind even, the calcine clay will handle a lot of that surface moisture as well but it has the added benefit of conditioning the field and when you drag the calcine clay will tend to fill in cleat marks which keeps the field level and it helps the ball roll smoothly across those areas where if you didn't have that the ball could hit those cleat marks and pop up and, and be dangerous for a player or just uh, just take a bad hop and affect the game not even just be dangerous um, aside from the calcine the calcine clay is burnt over 1500 degrees so it does it's cooked it does have the, the, the water management there's also a product called vitrified clay that's burnt longer at a higher temperature so it, it tends to hold some of that water so what a lot of groundskeepers do at the you know, upper college professional level that's it's not a bad idea a lot of high schools use vitrified clay too um, but a couple reasons they'll use it is to keep that barrier between their feet and the actual clay so they can get on it quicker um, after a heavy rain it lets them get on that field and play um, but what a lot of guys will do is they'll mix the calcine and the vitrified together. So usually the months of April and May, when it tends to rain quite a bit, you'll use a higher percentage of the calcine clay so you can absorb a lot of that surface moisture. And then in the months of like say June, July, August, when it's hot and not a lot of moisture, you'll use the vitri more vitrified, less calcine. What formulation you use is up to you just by playing with it. But by having the more vitrified in there, that'll hold that water there at that level and help the cleats go in and out like the, like the players do like, so you're not going to get these huge chunks coming out. So there's a lot of different amendments you know, that you can play with that are, that are used. But like I said, the rapid dry has only one purpose, where if you're going to use one thing, you might want to think about using something like a calcine clay that has a multi-function use that's not going to damage your field over time by just using that.